now. Get ready for Christmas at Montgomery Ward tomorrow. Doors open at 8 a.m. with savings on hundreds of items. The latest games and toys for girls and boys, special gifts for mom and dad, name brand items for your home and car. There's a special price in a motocross bike, a wide variety of shirts and sweaters, colors and patterns for everybody, and a computer for the whole family. If you haven't been in a Montgomery Ward store lately, there's no better time than tomorrow at 8. Get there early. Hello, this is Billy Kaur from Carolina Circle Mall, and welcome back to Nostalgic Christmas. Today we're going to be looking at another old Christmas catalog. This time it's the Montgomery Ward Christmas Catalog from 1984. Now, Montgomery Ward is very special to me because it was one of the three anchor stores at Carolina Circle Mall. It was my favorite store there at the mall because they had everything, including orange shag carpeting from the 70s. It was also where my major Christmas present in 1994 came from, the Motocyte Bicycle. Love that thing. Montgomery Ward was the last store to close at Carolina Circle Mall in January of 2002, which is what ultimately closed the mall for good. Anyway, this 1984 catalog is what I think was Montgomery Ward's last Christmas catalog before they discontinued catalogs altogether sometime in the mid-80s. So let's open it up and check it out and um, take a trip back to the 1980s. Now this was um, five years before I was born, so um, a lot of this I might not recognize. So just bear with me while I um, have a sip of Diet Pepsi. Okay, um, again like last time I wrote down some pages um, that I want to look at, starting with page 14. And um, the 80s was the time for um, random robots, where random robots really don't belong, I don't think. But um, Tommy Robots, meet the Tommy Robots. Um, to me, the, what this looks like are um, little robots that are remote controlled that can um, carry stuff and um, do small chores for you like um, carrying popcorn and drinks to the living room. Quite interesting, um, although it obviously never really caught on. <laughs> okay, let's head on over to page 18. And um, the 1980s was the time for Care Bears, and here they are right here in all their glory. Hello, we're the Care Bears. Each of us is the cuddly caretaker of a very special feeling, and it's our job to help you understand your own feelings and share them with others. So you, so if you're happy or even a bit sad, about to celebrate a birthday or just need a little loving, there's sure to be a Care Bear that cares about you. Aww. Um, that was a disturbing noise I just made, but um... <laughs> Uh, what do we have here? Um, well, we got Care Bears, Teddy Bears themselves on the left there, and on the right we have a Care Bear telephone, um, Care Bear radio, and uh, a Care Bear um, tape recorder that looks awful similar to the um, Fisher Price tape recorder of the 1980s. Obviously, that's probably rebranded. <laughs> But, um, cool stuff right there. Um, okay, let's head to page 28. I said page 28. Thank you. And because it's the year 1984, we've got to look at Mr. T and the A-Team because I'm pitiful, I'm pitiful, I'm pitiful, I'm pitiful. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm okay now. I'm okay. <laughs> Um, soldiers of fortune living on the edge, and these are various A-team toys, including um, a talking uh, Mr. T doll, and um, walkie-talkies, a megaphone, and little um, cars. Very cool there. I, I actually have to say I like that uh, that A-team band there. That's kind of like a little tent for children. That's um, 
pretty cool. If I had been around back then, I probably would have wanted that. Okay, page 32 is where we need to head toward. All right, Cabbage Patch Kids. I, I think 1984 was a year this fad really caught on. Um, because I've heard stories about um, Black Friday in 1984, um, parents beating each other up for trying to get a Cabbage Patch Kid for their children. Um, and so even back in the 80s, um, that was a thing. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, that was again before my time, but I do remember my grandmother having a few of those in her house. Um, I think just for collection's sake, um, I don't know if um, I don't know what we did with him after she passed away, but um, I know we didn't sell him. <laughs> okay, let's head all the way over to page sixty. Uh, GI Joe, um, which was a thing back in the eighties. Now to page seventy. The um, some young children's toys right here, but what I mainly want to show is um, item G, this Tommy Turnin Turbo Dashboard, which has digital viewing screen that lights up, motor hums as drivers cruise along on for ten trips, key turns, wheel turns, gear shift moves into four speed, speedometer, fuel gauge, and mileage indicator all register. Uses four C batteries. Um. I believe Ashens did a video about one of these a few years ago, although I think his looked a little bit different, but again, if I had been around in 1984 as a child, I probably would have loved that because I used to love uh, car-related toys as a kid. If I, and if I, if I find one at a Goodwill, I definitely will grab it, but I'm not in really big hurry to get one. Alright, page 76. We've got some children's typewriters, along with a children's cash register. I had something similar to that growing up in the 90s. Page 80. Browser froze for a second there, sorry about that. Uh, we have a, um older version of the Little Tykes picnic table that I had as a child in the 90s. Mine was um, different colors than this. I think mine had green on it instead of yellow. Little Tykes Kitchen stuff. Um, again, I, if I'd been around back then as a kid, I would have wanted all of that stuff. All right, let's head to page 100. And I will put a link in the description to where you can um, look at the entire catalog. And for the girls watching, this is the um, Barbie section. Again, um, I'm male, so I really don't know much about this, although I have to say this little um, McDonald's toy um, intrigues me, because I've always been quite fond of old-school McDonald's. Okay, 114. By the way, this catalog is a little bit thinner than the Sears catalog from last week, so this um, will be a little bit of a shorter video compared to that. Legos, um, light and light bright. Um, I had one of those um, in the late 90s, I believe, but the one I remember the most was one that was in one of the classrooms at school back in the 90s. Um, I never got to, pl to play with it, but I used to always be intrigued by the box design for some reason, more than the actual toy. And of course, you got your etch a sketch there. I never could figure out how to use those properly. All I could do was just make little um, lines that represented nothing. All right, page 130. And Firefox is asking me if I like it. Uh, yes. <laughs> that was off camera, by the way, but, um, Here's some uh, board games and a few other little um, doodads. Really like looking at that um, little Pac-Man thing. Um, it looks like a real-life Pac-Man 
thing um, where you control it with a joystick, but it's instead of a computer, it's just um, a little board game. That's kind of cool. Okay. Just had have one page over. And we got a few electronic toys, including the old Nintendo Game & Watch um, systems. Kind of the precursor to the um, Game Boy that came five years later. And um, notice the designs of these. Um, these kind of resemble the Nintendo DS of um, many years later. And um, what I think is really cool over here are these little um, handheld um, arcade cabinets. I've always wanted um, to try one of these. I believe these used um, vacuum fluorescent displays. I believe the 8-bit guy did a video a couple of months ago about a couple of these. I know he had the um, Pac-Man game there, which is probably what I'd want to get if I was able to get one of these. But again, really, really cool. All right, head one more page over. Got your um, speaking spells. Um, those were before my time, but I've always been fascinated by them because I remember s seeing similar stuff um, when I was growing up. I believe both um, the 8-Bit Guy and UXW Bill have made videos about those over the years. Okay, 142. You can't have the year 1984 without Michael Jackson. <laughs> Uh, a Michael Jackson microphone and a micro Michael Jackson uh, portable radio. I think it's just AM, but that's kind of cool. If that's your thing. A Barbie radio and a Smurf radio. Um, Smurfs were popular back in the 80s. All right, let's head to 148. We're getting close to the end here. There's um, 584 pages, but there's not a whole lot in this catalog that's really worth showing in a video but again I will um, put a link in the description to where you can see the entire thing and um, there's a Fisher Price tape player I was talking about earlier um, it looks a, I guess a little bit different from the Care Bears tape player but um, still pre pretty similar you got um, books on tape for kids um, including the Cabbage Patch Kids, and the Care Bears, and G.I. Joe, and Superman. Alright, now we need to head all the way to page 404. Wouldn't it be horrible if I got a 404 error? <laughs> wow! No comment. <laughs> Alright, last page I want to take a look at is 468. I forget what it was, but... um. Yes, yeah, sleeping bags, 80s style. We've got a uh, Garfield sleeping bag. I, I've always liked Garfield. Um, there's something to be said for body heat. <laughs> and uh, Snoopy um, sleeping bag, along with the Chipmunks and Knight Rider. Again, I never really had too many sleeping bags growing up because I never really um, traveled or slept over at anyone's house that often because I didn't really have any friends. <laughs> and um, I believe this is the end. Um, let me go toward the end. Um, I forgot to show this. Um, how did I miss this stuff when I was looking at it um, initially? Yeah, electronics. I was wondering why there wasn't any electronics in here. I skipped all over it. Wow. Go to page 500. Ah, here we go. Um, well, let's just go through the whole thing and see what we got. Um, I'm seeing this for the first time. We got car radios, and um, in 1984, I'm sure having a tape player in your car was quite a luxury still. Got some hardware and tools here. Microwave oven, these were still catching on at the time. A 
don't know. <laughs> Again, I don't know how I missed this the other day when I was going through this. Um, a little um, mini refrigerator with some old food products in there, like that old Minute Maid orange juice carton. Uh, um, a big old console TV covered in wood grain. We've got a um, Commodore SX-64, which was a um, portable version of the Commodore 64. There's the other end of it. <laughs> and we got the Commodore um, Plus 4. Yep. Again, I'm really not um, too familiar with 80s computers. I mean, I, I like them. I think they're cool. But um, I just really don't have much nostalgia for them because I never really used them growing up like a lot of people did. And we got the um, good old-fashioned Commodore 64 right here. A um a Coleco Atom, um don't see those much. And then, and here's an Atari eight hundred XL, um very cool computers, along with an old Zenith monitor. Okay, why is it blurry? Okay, we're gonna have to skip that page. Sorry about that. Um got some typewriters and word processors. Some computer desk. This one's showing off the Commodore 64 along with another Zenith monitor. some computer and game accessories. Um, I remember these little um, cassette um, cabinets. Those were really cool. I never had one, but I always did want one. Um, see them at um, thrift stores from time to time. I ought to pick one up. Some uh, video games here. This was 1984, so the big video game crash of 83 had happened a year prior, so yeah, I bet everything was dirt cheap then. <laughs> and here's the Atari 2600, which nobody wanted in 1984. Gosh, $59.99. That was pretty cheap. Again, this was a year after the big um, video game crash. And it came with a Pac-Man game. Some old telephones. Big old Mickey Mouse telephone. I have a newer version of that from 1991 that my grandmother got me for Christmas in 91. Uh, look at all that wood grain. Um, LGR is probably happy now. <laughs> Some old clock radios. And there's something wrong with that telephone. Yeah. <laughs> Running gag, folks. Running gag. Okay, um, Space Maker Clock Radio from General Electric. I've always liked those blue um, vacuum, vacuum fluorescent displays. Some old um, fashion cameras and lenses. Camera bags. Some uh, big old calculators. I remember my mother having a calculator similar to this one right here. Some uh, CB radios and scanners. Big old stereo stereo systems there from Sanyo. Wow, look at that thing. <laughs> well, only $600. I'm surprised it's not more. Some boom boxes. Um, this was back when boom boxes were in their heyday. 
a um, wow um, this is a very early um, CD player from Magnavox look how big that is <laughs> wow um, you had to have been pretty rich to have a CD player in 1984 a uh, oh wow that is cool look how the turntable pulls out from there that's a Panasonic Got an old um, Sony Walkman right there with a Pat Benatar tape. Has a radio in there as well. Oh yeah, I remember stuff like this. Um, boom boxes with built-in televisions. I remember in the early 90s on the old Nickelodeon game show, Nick Arcade, and um, Double Dare as well, as a matter of fact. Um, one of the prizes would be... a. Uh, an early 90s version of this with the um, tape player, radio, and um, television set. Would not mind at all getting one of those someday. And I believe those from the early 90s can accept uh, like modern day TV signals. Not over the air obviously, but like a, if you hook up a DVD player or a game console to it, I think it would probably work. Some old uh, musical instruments old Casio keyboard there, look how tiny those keys are and you, and you can record straight to a cassette more console TVs, I remember us having a similar one like that some real big ones, I think this was before um, projection screens were a thing Very cool stuff here. Again, I don't know how I missed this the other day. Old Sony Trinitrons. Old Sony Watchman. Um, basically, these were little handheld TVs from Sony. There are um, a whole bunch of videos on YouTube about those. And there's Panasonic's version. And wow, look at that tiny little screen. <laughs> old VCRs got a VHS one here and um, a couple of Betamaxes Videoholic approved portable VCR of a camera this was um, at, a, at a time when there really weren't many camcorders available you had if you want to if you ordered a camera, you had to have a separate video camera and carry a portable um, VCR on your shoulder like this one and have them two um, hooked up. Very cumbersome, but hey, back then I guess it worked. And a, a Montgomery Ward branded VCR there, that's pretty cool. And uh, I guess that's it. Um, very cool looking at that catalog again. Um, I'm quite fond of Montgomery Ward. They were my favorite store at Carolina Circle Mall. Um, as a matter of fact, um, even though the Montgomery Ward stores are no longer around, um, they still have a website and you can still order from them. And I think that is really cool. Um, only thing is they're not very cheap and their selection really isn't that great, but the fact that Montgomery Ward is still around in some shape or form is really, really cool. So, until next time, this is Billy Core signing off. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. The addresses are located at the bottom. Until next time, this is Billy Core wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.